Hey guys, update for Object ID Toolkit for 3ds Max. To get started here, I'll go over the new features. So if you double click your list item here, it'll select the objects in the viewport, which you can see here. Uh, you do have the ability of toggling on and off which objects ha have IDs and what they look like in the viewport. It'll show the number of the ID as well. So if we select some of these objects and click this first button, which these all have tool tips to explain what they do. This will assign a single unique ID to all the selected objects. You can now see how many times it's used. Now if we take uh, another selection of objects and hit the sec second button, it'll assign a unique ID to each object. Uh, and as you see, if you keep, keep clicking this, uh, it's not going to add new numbers to these items. It's always going to condense the list to use the smallest available IDs in the scene. Next, we have assign IDs by layer. So if we select some of these objects, we just throw them on a new layer. We'll select these guys and throw them on another layer. We'll make sure this layer is moved outside. So it's just easier for you guys to see visually. It does support nested layers. We'll go ahead and select the objects and hit update. Now it's only going to assign IDs by layers to objects that you have selected. So it doesn't mess up existing objects in your scene. We can go ahead and select everything and hit assign IDs by layers and there we go. You can also do assign IDs by material. I don't have materials assigned currently but it works similar to what you can expect similar to the layers. Uh, next you can select your objects and you can give them a unique ID and hit send. If you select an object and right click this button it'll grab its ID and populate this field with it so then you can quickly apply it to other objects. Uh, you can right click and edit the color of what that wire color is represented in the viewport. And you just toggle this, it'll update. Oh, we don't have any objects using that. We'll do this one, edit color. There we go. You can edit the name as well, which this is important. Uh, we'll just put large. This is important for when you use another feature where you can create render elements. So if we double click this, it'll select the objects. And then what we can do is we'll just assign the select, selected objects those IDs. It's a quick way to condense some of these lists. Um, so there we go. Now we have three. Let's change a number. This one, we'll go to blue. And then we'll change a name here to uh, monster. And then we'll change the last name here to great, or we'll call it bunnies. Now what you can do is you can create render elements for both V-Ray and render elements both for Corona. So if we open a render engine here, you can see that we have render elements both for Corona and for V-Ray. And it includes the names as well as the ID numbers. And that's it. Thanks.